Yeah, I definitely had hope. Every year, we're hoping it's just <laughs> been a lifetime. But in 2016, there were good signs. Kids improving, liver back. We could tell Bevo, he was the real deal. But did I think we'd win it? <laughs> well, I think I said we would. I always say we'll win it. And then there's the Hawthorne game. And I cannot remember being this excited at the footy. But we are matching them, the mighty Hawks. Feels like we're arriving. Feels like we're winning. And then, oh no! Not Bob. Sick in the guts. Just for things to be starting to roll and for that to happen to that bloke. And you start thinking, maybe it's not our turn. But they just kept playing. Kept believing. Kept winning. Felt like we were so unlucky to miss the top four. The fact is, we finished seventh. Nobody's won it from seventh. We've got to go to Perth again, and the Eagles have dropped one game at home all year. Nobody tips us. Nobody. And then we explode. <laughs> that glorious, stunned silence of their fans. Liba! Oh, they said we celebrated too hard. They said we played our final. Then, Friday night, MCG. A date with the heavyweight champs. That's as loud a noise as I ever heard. You know who? Of course it's him. It's him. You know who it is. It's been 55 years to the day that won consecutive finals. For the prelim, it's back into state to play the hottest young team in the comp. I melted down watching the DWS game. Totally insane. It's going to be a do-or-die effort. You've got to inspire me. All the ghosts of the past. Oh, those seven prelims. so much fun to be there to feel the love of all those neutrals for it to be our turn Beacon, yes. terrifying the game itself was totally terrifying I can hardly remember a moment of it Somehow this ridiculous sporting story unfolded and it belonged to us. And it was red, white and blue. And it was beautiful. It was our turn.